Um, hello, YouTube. I got an interesting little video today. Things I'd like to see for season one on the first Descendant. Now, we might not all agree, and maybe you guys have some ideas. Why don't you write them down in the comments below? For the record, I read every single comment, even the most negative of comments. I like to, I don't know, have a nice goon session while I'm reading your negative comments. So anything helps the algorithm. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Anything. Or dislike the video, too. That helps. Um, so here are a couple of things that I like to see for season one on the first descendant. Ah, I know that I'm not going to get everybody's ideas here and there's a lot missing, but also at the same time, there are things that are left out purposefully because there's things that we already know they have talked about that are coming already. Like, um, improvements to the loot system by adding pity system. Yes, that's coming. Maybe not a 100% pity system, but things you can do that would help you get the loot that you've been chasing in the past. Um, there are also talked about excess materials. They have also talked about access, uh, excess of materials that you have a lot of materials and then you can use them on something else. They've addressed a lot of the things already, battle passes and all that. So things are already looking good because they have already acknowledged some of that. So don't mind. I hope that you guys are enjoying your, um, video and, um, yeah, I'll see you. Uh, re-rolling reactor stats with extra materials we have. Wouldn't it be nice if some of the materials that we have just a bunch of, we could just use some of the materials to re-roll our reactors, like re-roll electric uh, bonus or cool down or re-roll this stat, re-roll that stat. Instead of, because the reactors is a problem in the game. Reactors is one of the most disgusting things in the game. And it's locked behind a rotating wheel of areas that give this reactor, that reactor. It's, I don't think the reactor stuff is pretty fun. I think it's one of the most lamest piece of content they have in the game. So if we can make this or lessen the burden of reactor farming by letting us re-roll some of our stats, I would like that. I would appreciate that. Um, or I don't know, just rework the whole reactor thing as well. I don't know. Uh, maybe even using our extra materials to re-roll component stats as well. While we're at the reactor re-rolling, maybe we, we can re-roll our reactor, uh, our component stats as well. Rework die systems. Please, for the love of God, the die system in TFD, the first descendant is some of the worst I have ever seen in any video game. Number one, each individual die is locked behind a paywall. Sure, they give you some here for free, but I mean, I think that is just unnecessary. I think it's disgusting. I wish to go away from the whole charging you for one die thing. I think it's really bad. Give us a color wheel instead. Let us choose from a wheel where we could just, I don't know, I, I think that would be better. And if you're absolutely adamant about adding a, a, a a cost to the die system at least make it a subscription based thing where we change uh, maybe pay a dollar or 50 cents for like oh i don't know whatever amount of money's here if you adamant about it i think you should remove the whole charging for it but i'm still sleep better at night if you attach it to a 30 day subscription or 50 day subscription uh, where you can die as much as you want I think you would, number one, get more people to spend on that system and you'll keep your players a little bit more happy. But as right now, the die system is just atrocious. Also, let us dye ultimate skins and also let us change our hair color. That would be nice. Some um, hair is really nice, but we'd like to pair it up with maybe a uh, blonde hair, maybe a brunette, maybe redhead, maybe green hair. Maybe there's some freaks out there that like that green stuff. Um... Let us do general changes to mobbing, faster spawns, more spawns, more loot, more EXP, more, 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 more. The best thing that I can um, um, reference here is how Path of Exile has these rooms that you go in and you destroy monsters and there's loot flying in the in the air have different sound effects as well for different type of loot maybe a rare item drops you hear a different sound maybe a gold sound maybe something more epic maybe something just an explosion of loot more mobs more loot more exp more gold that would be awesome it feels rewarding when all you're doing in the game is grinding in loops and circles and circles and circles and circles and then you get these dopamine drops it feels good i want that sort of stuff that is always fun um 
So more EXP. And while we're at the EXP topic and loot and stuff, give us more than three spots. Quite honestly, we want more variety. We want more variety. Your your reasoning behind removing Volby's run was because you wanted people to experience more variety. But right now we have the same void fragment reactors that everybody's grinding. Vespers and Bunny Cave. There's slight variety out of that, but like give us way more give us way more stuff we do have an exp problem i think and we do have a gold problem in the game we need to find a way to implement more gold fun ways to get gold um uh, guilds guild system i would love to see for season one i want private invite only albion invitations where you can have 30 of your friends while we're at the friends increase friends list capacity what is this like only 50 friends you can have i mean sure in real life i wish i had more than one friend but i want to have a lot in my online space let me have a, a 200 why is there even a limit give me a bigger friends list pool to play with that would improve the social aspects of the game which i do think might be a little bit um lacking we could do a little bit better in this space social aspects of the game could um see an improvement i don't know better chats more chat filters um let's find a, a party finder or similar ways where people can post something on a bulletin bu bulletin board and say hey i'm looking for Bobby to do this run to do this gluttony i'm looking for an enzo to do this though i know that people would like to say that gatekeeping could happen due to this but honestly i think it's important for a game especially if a game is going to continue to add um bosses that require a certain skill bosses that require certain comps i think it's kind of important that you add something like this um while we're at that topic if i am queuing up for a public match for gluttony there's nothing more depressing than seeing four volbies queue up and all four volbies have the same transcendent mod that is used to clear gluttony better when we're losing about 30 percent or more of our dps because we can't change our modules so give us a 10 second grace period while you enter the fight or a ready check so people can say they're ready after they change their mods in a fight and once the fight starts you can no longer change them so that would stop people from changing mods during fight and using it to abuse the system but if four volbies queue up it is not you're losing a lot of your damage by not being able to change your stuff not being able to coordinate it not being able to do anything like that because uh because party finder doesn't exist so i want more changes to social aspect uh, make that change to the modules that would be really really awesome improvements to loot filter system right now as we have it we don't really have a loot filter we kind of have a filter to allow us to dismantle junk that we don't want which is really nice maybe they can use this to improve that a little bit more but also give us an actual loot system um, maybe with the implementation of pets your pets can pick up your the loot for you and only pick up specific loot you assign the pet to pick up like all gold all shard and all legendary items you know let or if we can say oh i am only looking for a singular and electric reactor so your pet doesn't go around picking up everything and it just picks up this i know that this might go against your uh, selling inventory space to you but we can find another solution right now i think a lot of people want a loot filter sort of system that would be nice um events oh my god if this is going to be a social game let's talk more about the social aspects events open world bosses where you can g uh, group up with more than four people maybe six maybe 10 maybe 30 people that you find in albion to go take on open world bosses events that happen here a big announcement that happens in the game at this time there's been rumors that a wild gluttony has opened um a, a, a portal is opening and vespers we need people to go to vespers and then you go and everybody's teleporting to vespers to clear an open world hey i would like like this for season one i don't think that this is in the pipeline but 
it for the future season two season three that would be awesome something like that would be really really good um again it would help social aspect of the game it would feel it would make the world feel more alive seeing people just run to these bosses while we're at that i want dances in the game as well add dances more emotes more ways to interact with each other i really do think that there are some cool emotes in the game like the the bongos that you can play with two other friends do more stuff like that maybe a, a group dance together group dances a uh, group posing just dances in general this is a good way to add more stuff here maybe not all behind a paywall maybe we can get some of these things and titles by completing some of the harder content in the game that way it drives more people to do stuff in the game right so if you complete gluttony um you unlock um a dance or something uh, more people would want to do this stuff. I know that this is locking stuff behind content is a little iffy for a lot of players, but it also drives people to do more stuff. Um, yeah, um, so I could probably think of more things to do for the social aspect, but this is what I have right now. If you guys have more thumb, um, thoughts or anything, please add them down below. I don't want any time gated anything oh my god i don't want to feel like i'm on a schedule to do something you know on the last day of reset if you haven't done this raid you're gonna get miss out on loot i don't like the fomo please don't add that that is not fun for anybody it might be fun for like a dad who has one hour playing a uh, a week i don't even know who the who this type of content it's for time gated anything is atrocious in any game don't lock us behind anything if you want no no I'm, I'm not willing to compromise i don't like time gated stuff time gated stuff is disgusting i don't like it don't add it i don't want to be like well if you clear this boss this week you can't go back in there you can only do it one time of the week as well i don't want gated anything if i want to run a raid a million times with my chat or with randoms let me do that this is why i'm still playing this game right now it's because I have over 100 kills on Gluttony because I can't continuously go back in there and play the game. If it wasn't for Gluttony, I'm going to be honest, I probably wouldn't be playing this game as much. So the fact that I have something to do still is really, really important to keep me hooked in there. Once you disconnect from the player and the player leaves because they have nothing to do in the game, that's when you run into an issue of them probably not coming back to the game because why i got other things that i can go do i want to continue to put, i want to continue to get content for my game and uh, maybe you can see that as my fault that i rushed the game i played too much now I, I but i just want no gated stuff i don't think anybody likes that and if you are a person that likes gated stuff tell me down below what's your reasonings um i want simplified menus i feel like there's 20 menus when realistically we could only have we only really need like five so for example um for for that if i hit escape menu why isn't the social tab right here why isn't the map right here why isn't there something other things right here you can easily implement all your social interactions from this map right here from hitting escape i want to be i hit escape I want to be able, well, world map is here. I want to be able to hit social. Why do I have to hit M or G and then go to this other social tab? This could be in the escape menu. All of this could be in the escape menu. I'm going to let you cook though. Maybe there's something that you guys are adding in the future, but I feel like there's a lot of menus that can be simplified a lot more. Like a lot more stuff can be here in the escape menu. I don't... I feel like I have to press J and there's this access info and then I do this and then I do G and then I do G plus F and then it's just too much too much I want that simplified a little bit better I don't know maybe maybe I'm lost maybe I, I this is something that nobody else is having an issue with but I wish there were uh, menus that were more condensed more simplified menus that we don't even need um yeah I would like that Another thing, if we're talking about improvements, um, there are some things that the game can do and it give us more stuff that I haven't added here, but I would like to see mastery rank rewards, more mastery rank rewards. 
a reason why people want to push beyond 15, because I'm going to be quite honest right now, when you hit 15, there's very little incentive to push further. Very little incentive to push further. Maybe you can unlock um, additional research slots by hitting rank 20 or 25. How about that? Let's go with that one. Unlock additional research slots by hitting mastery rank 20 and 25. If you're adamant about keeping five research slots locked, at least let us unlock more by getting mastery rank 20, 25. People that want to be completionists, people that want to strive for something, to achieve something, that would be a really good way to implement more rewards. Not just this, but maybe other preset stuff. Uh, maybe you unlock a catalyst even give you a free catalyst or you know a, uh, something while reaching 20 or 25 etc um, while we're at that let us um, let us queue queue um, research how about that if one research is done, like if I'm performing a catalyst research, let me queue up another catalyst research. That way it continuously loops until I have no more materials. That would be a really nice quality of life. Uh, the module thing is important thing um, as well. Um, some people in my chat brought it up. Let us dismantle modules in open world or drop modules or, or how about this? How about you send every item that is on the ground to our lost and found. Sometimes we are, we're really dumb and we don't check our inventory. Yes, it's on us, but I think that this is a problem that hap has happened to everybody. If you are locked on your module capacity and you drop a red mod, good luck, buddy. Yes, it's on us, the players, but I think we could do a little bit better here by sending mods to our lost and found or letting us at least get rid of something in the open world in case we do run into this issue we can drop a module or let us dismantle our open world something to alleviate this issue because i do believe that this is an issue imagine going to farm an enzo box first of all you shouldn't be stupid and go out there and opening vaults with your modules full i understand but it happens so in case that does happen let us get an additional slot or send it to our uh, lost and found. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, while we're in the topic of dismantling, let us dismantle while we're open world in combat. There's nothing more infuriating than clearing the mission and then you're looking through your inventory and the dumb patrol unit hits you and then you cannot dismantle. Oh my God, that is so infuriating. I understand that the patrol units you put there because of whatever God reason, but that is one of the most annoying things in the game. While we're talking about annoying things in the game, let's fix your stutters in the game. Your global stutter slash lag. This doesn't only affect me. By the way, I have a juicy computer, a 4090 with the latest Intel, LOL Intel, with all the bells and whistles and the game stutters. This is disgusting. This is not fun. And the first week it was okay. Second week I was like, ah, oh, they're gonna get their stuff together. The next hot fix, I'm sure. Third week, fourth week, month, two, uh, one month. We're, we're going on two months and you still haven't fixed the most annoying issue. At this point, it's a fly that just doesn't ever wanna leave. And nobody, nobody likes this. Please fix your global stutter or your lag if it could even be fixed i don't know check out with easy anti-cheat i heard theories that it's because it's unreal engine because of this because of that because of server because of i don't know what it takes but this is one of the most annoying frustrating things that has been in the game since the beginning fix it yeah um and options to remove or make a fake effects transparent now before somebody slides their fat greasy nerdy fingers in my comments and say ellie you can delete effects they added that like two patches ago no you can only eliminate eliminate rocket launcher explosion effect i wouldn't be able to eliminate lepix dumb uh, ultimate that I can't see anything. I want to eliminate Greg's dumb circles on the floor that don't allow me to see anything. I want to be able to eliminate all 
world effects, even mine if I don't want them. Number one, it would help optimization as well. So it's a win-win. It would help the game just run smoother for a lot of people that are having trouble running the game. And it would help me. I don't want to see all these clutters and all these stuff happening. I think it's a good change. I don't think, I think if we want to be able to do that, let us do that. Give us an option at least. Or make the effects more transparent if that's what we want. Um, no more clones or bosses. Please give us original boss uh, bosses, please. I don't want to see another dead bride or a fucking stunning beauty. I don't want to see a devour, a gluttony again. I don't. I guarantee you that they probably have another pyromancer in the pipelines right now. I don't want to fight another pyromancer. I don't want to fight another pyromancer. I don't want to fight another frost walker, grave walker. I want uh, more bosses, original bosses, variety. Um, yeah, I, I just want more. Um, what are the things? Guild, private invite only Albion's. Guilds, I want guilds. That would be really fun. Another way to improve social aspects of the game. Sur oh, uh, new let's talk about new content modes that we can add. Survival horde mode. I know that uh, special operations exist and there's mobs that come at you. Come on. Come on, are we like 70 odd geriatric? Those, though, the amount of mobs that spawn are 5 to 10 and that's nothing. People fall asleep in these modes. Special operations need a rework. Make them survival horde mode. Make them more mobs coming at you. More money, more explosions, more fun. There's just not enough juice there. I want that to be juicy. While we're at the topic of being juicy, geriatric, and losing your fingers, can we please have a requirement that if you queue up for bosses, that you're level 40? I don't want to run into another level 1 bunny, a level 10 glay, a level 3 Ajax, and a, a hard gluttony fight. Why is that even possible? In what world does that make sense? That a level one can queue up with me on some of the hardest content in the game? I, I, I don't get it. Eliminate that. Let them be level 40. It doesn't even take that long to get level 40. Get your level 40s and then queue up to bosses. And I don't know. I think I'm running out of ideas um, to to say here. I, I know that I have a lot to say, but it will take me like an hour long video. Guys, what do you guys like to see in your games? Um, YouTube, um, tell me more about your ideas. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'd like to see you in my chat. Maybe say, hey, I'm from YouTube. Hi, Ellie. How are you doing? Twitch.tv forward slash Ellie. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away, but... All the success of this channel relies on you, and I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias, Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this, follow me everywhere. Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.